Let's begin here in Nairobi, where an autopsy report for Dandora activist Caroline Mother has confirmed that she died of excessive bleeding following a botched abortion. The independent pathologist Peter Ndegwa, who conducted the exercise, could however not confirm the circumstances under which the five to six month pregnancy was terminated. He says further tests will be conducted to ascertain the drug that was used on her before the fetus was removed. Here now is part of that statement that was released just a short while ago. Found that uh, Caroline lost a lot of blood internally and externally. She was about five to six week, uh, months pregnant with a male fetus. Unfortunately, I think uh, somebody mutilated the, uh, the fetus. Therefore, what we are seeing is that uh, somebody, somewhere, somehow, uh, attempted to either dismember the fetus and then remove some parts. But uh, the cause of death is clear, it's bleeding due to that ruptured uh, uterus. Let's get a little more detail on this story now that has gripped the country since she went missing on the 6th of February. Our reporter Hassan Mugambi has been on this beat from the very first moment it broke and of course all day today. Hassan, good evening. You have been on this beat and indeed have been waiting throughout the day following the proceedings of this autopsy at Umash. Uh, tell us more. What more can you tell us about that autopsy and what happens next? Well, what happens next is the gathering of the circumstantial evidence by the homicide detectives just to firm up the case. Remember, there are six, uh, uh, six suspects who are in custody, having been uh, granted uh, the uh, what we call the miscellaneous application by the police uh, that the police had made so that uh, they can be held for around six uh, days, uh, I mean, uh, 14 days before the investigations continue. But then again, back to today, uh, is that uh, Caroline Mwatha, uh, the cause of death, of course, having been um, uh, uh, made clear by the pathologist, that is uh, Dr. Peter Ndegwa, Johansen Oduor, and uh, the family members as well as lobby groups who are inside uh, the uh, pathology room, just getting it very clear and saying that uh, she passed on out of uh, what they call hemorrhage or uh, excessive bleeding, both internally and externally because uh, of the uh, fetus that was developing inside her womb that uh, uh, sort of uh, got dismembered by someone somewhere who uh, was uh, uh, trying to procure an abortion to her. But then again, uh, what has now been forwarded to the government chemist after uh, the uh, autopsy or the post-mortem examination being conducted is the uh, uh, samples that have been collected from her body uh, just to ensure uh, or rather to cast out the doubt because um, uh, the, the, the doctors here have said this was quite a conclusive autopsy uh, having been conducted uh, that uh, she lost her life due to a botched abortion. But then again, what we do not know is um, uh, who wanted her to, commit, uh, to, to, uh, to do that abortion and uh, uh, why, or what was the reason. So they have taken uh, samples to the uh, government chemist so that they can see uh, whether indeed the, um, uh, her body was uh, sort of dosed with chemicals before that particular uh, procedure uh, took place in her body. So that is what we'll be waiting for, Yvonne.